Welcome. Welcome to Coffee and Cleavage. Woo. I'm Lenny. And I'm Chantal. And hello, Gary. Hello. How are you doing, ladies? Good afternoon, Good. Gary. <laughs> We're like guzzling a little. How's your coffee today? <laughs> Extra strong. <laughs> Thanks for asking. <laughs> well, so just straight up, I'll ask you both. Have you ever settled in a relationship? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think everyone has, right? I think some people might have different like ideas of what settling is or but yeah, I think most people probably have. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? Yeah, definitely. I mean, kind of didn't feel like it was settling, of course, in the beginning. And then you kind of just realize and it's kind of one of those things I feel like you learn in time you feel like you are do you think you grew into that though like you settled into that yeah where? you settled into settling <laughs> <It> settled into <laughs> settling. you're like oh, okay this is totally what i want and then as the relationship went on you were like huh because that's happened okay, to me i'm putting up before. with a lot yeah yeah as you get into something you're like okay this is really good then you're just you kind of realize like okay yeah like that or that mm -hmm. and i don't know yeah I am the type of person, though, that, like, I feel like I'm settling. I'm going to eventually cheat on the girl, honestly. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I know we've had this conversation just, before, I mean, but why honestly, am I so shocked? <laughs> that's just the truth. That's why you know, like, whoever I'm with, it's like I'm not going to settle. Like, unless, and if I am, it's not going to be good. So. Why wouldn't you just break up? Why would you go to cheating? Because you don't like confrontation or. I don't really know. I haven't done that in a while. I haven't settled in a while, so. Well, so that means you also haven't cheated in a while? No, it's been a bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Is that kind of one of those things you did when you were younger? That yeah. kind of thing? Yeah. Definitely younger, because now it would be like, okay, this isn't working. You yeah. Know? Yeah, that's like the m mature thing to do, right? Is yeah. to be like, okay, this isn't what I want. It's not working. Mm -hmm. Okay, goodbye. Yeah. Versus just like dealing with it, but then... Obviously, getting some ass on the side, Gary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So, when you realized that you were settling in a relationship, how much longer did it last past that point? Uh, for me, when I get to that point, I'm done. I'm done. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's like, okay, this is not what I want anymore. Yeah. This is not good enough. I'm done. Yep. But how do you know you're settling just because you're just putting up with the person? Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. So like, I don't know. I found this. I, I feel like this was pretty accurate. Like four signs you might be settling in a relationship. The first one was you look for reasons to be annoyed. <laughs> you know, like everyone gets annoyed with their partner on occasion, but in a healthy relationship, both parties work through it and move on. They don't look for reasons to be angry. However, if you're settling, you may already be on edge in reaching for reasons to take that out on your partner. So it's like no matter what they do, it just can't be right because yeah, just you're not happy. Piss you off, yeah. Yeah, just like every like, little God. thing, you're like, yeah. fuck. Yeah. You're so fucking annoying. <laughs> yeah, like maybe you kind of get to the point where you just don't like the person, really. You yeah. Know? Yeah. I think that can happen sometimes in a relationship where you're not necessarily settling, but you just get sick of your partner. And I think that that is from like a lack of maybe having a life outside of your partner, too. Mm -hmm. You know, like a lot of people blame losing interest in things that they enjoy doing on having a partner versus taking accountability for like, okay, well, I stopped doing things for myself or I stopped having time with my friends mm -hmm. or, you know, I stopped having hobbies and interests outside of my relationship. And it's like, okay, so is this your partner's fault or is this your fault? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's true. But yeah, absolutely. Looking yeah. for reasons to be annoyed or perpetually just fucking annoyed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, um, another another um, sign could be you have different expectations mm. um, of commitment. You know, if your partner says they don't want a long term relationship, believe them. Don't settle for someone that doesn't offer you the security and intimacy you deserve. 
Yes. Mm -hmm. I see this happen a lot. Mm -hmm. Mostly with women who think that they can convince a man to be in a committed relationship when he says he doesn't want one. Yeah. Like, oh, well, he'll just fall for me and then he'll want to get married and have kids and Mm -hmm. be happily ever after. And it's like, yeah, you should probably believe people when they tell you their intentions. Do you think it can change, though, sometimes when they're thinking that? Like, I can change him. Like, I know it's like you don't want a long term relationship, but like. You'll be with me and you'll see. You'll see how good it is and yeah. then you'll want this. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think it's possible, but I think it's just unrealistic. Yeah. From either party, a man or a woman, to expect you to change what somebody's core values or desires are. Yeah. Because most of us don't really change necessarily what we want. We might over time, yeah. but not because somebody tells us to. It has to be because we actually want to, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. like... Uh, I think it's better to just be on the same page. 100%. Definitely. Like somebody says like, oh, I want to have kids in five years. Okay. Then maybe you guys are not the right match if you have zero desire in having kids in five years. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Five years is a a good amount of time. Yeah. But. It's just a lot of pressure. Yeah. It's too much pressure. Yeah. And some people are real open about that right up front. Yeah. And, I mean, I do think it's, it's important good. To be, I, think. I think it is important to be, but I don't not Maybe not on the first date, but well, I think people are more upfront with that when you're getting to like, you know, getting up there in age Serious. and it's like, what do you, what do you want out of this? And it's like, uh, holy shit. Like, I think <laughs> women for sure are more the ones that, you know, when you're getting up there in age, it's like, okay. And then you're going on dates and you're wanting to know, am I wasting my time? Yeah. And I've heard that with guys too, where they're like, yeah, it's like, it's like, what do you want? Do you want kids? And it's like, holy shit, I've been out twice. You know, like. Yeah, I can kind of scare someone off. Like I can right definitely away. scare somebody off. <laughs> it's like I understand. I understand why they're doing it. But then it's just like, I mean. A lot of pressure. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I think that's good to talk about maybe in the first, like, six months. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but like maybe some people think that's. Too. Yeah, casually, not pressure. Like, yeah. what do you want to. Do you want kids? Like. You could do it where it's not like, like grilling them. Yeah. Yeah. Like I want kids in the next year. Like, do you? It's like, holy fuck. Like, I yeah, need that's run. real quick. Yeah. No, exactly. That's a really fast timeline. <laughs> but I, but I've heard of it. I've heard about people talking about marriage and first dates. And for me, I think that's, that's absolutely insane. Oh yeah. yeah. Like, ooh. oh yeah. I've, I've, you know, girl I used to go to, um, for one of my beauty appointments she would she was at that point where with dating where she'd go out and ask him right away like look i'm looking for my forever person so you know. she's still single huh uh, i don't know <laughs> i haven't gone to her in a long time but, yeah but i think that's just, i think that's just too much pressure yeah it's definitely but i mean i do you know sympathize with women who are like okay i've been wasting way too much time I do only have like five years. I get it. To, I mean, to do that. totally. Yeah. But it's like, then I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what the answer is. Mm-hmm. I think that's a tough one. Definitely. Um, the biggest, I feel like this is a huge sign you're settling is when you're not sure you can find someone else. Mm-hmm. You don't this want to be alone. Yes. Yep. Um, when you're reaching for reasons to justify staying with your partner, that's a mm-hmm. red flag. That you may be keeping them around because you have a fear of being alone. Perhaps you're concerned about your biological clock ticking or society's expectations. Yeah. But, Fairy you know, tale shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I think this, I think you're right. I think this is the biggest one. It is. And I would say from friends and family um, experiences, I've definitely seen people just fall into this crutch. Yes. Even reasons to get back together with exes. From justifying from, I don't want to be alone. Yep. Afraid mm-hmm. to meet someone new. Yes. And that's. Because it's a lot of work. So, I mean, people yeah. are just like, fuck, can well, I put up with easy. this person? Yeah. It's just like, I think it's fucking crazy. But, well, I mean. Get a roommate. Yeah. One of my friends. <laughs> get a she, dog. <laughs> she was going to, she was getting married to this guy and he was an asshole to her. And I remember going, you sure you want to get married to this guy? And she's like, I don't want to start over. I want to I want to have a family. I'm just like what That's the fucking fuck? crazy though starting before you're even married like god. I just don't want to start a, that's a great way to start a marriage. Mm-hmm. I just don't want to have to find someone new. It's like yeah. nice. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I mean, I, I understand to yeah. an extent that meeting people is new and people want what they want. But usually when you have to force something, it's not usually good. Exactly. Do you yeah. think a lot of, of people would rather be in a miserable, miserable relationship than be single? <sighs> yeah. I'd rather be fucking single over yeah, that. Me any too. Day. Yeah, me too. Mm. I just think life's way too short to be like, yeah, I fucking hate that person, but I put up with their shit. I'm not. I'm married and I'm like, I don't, if I, and you know, if like yeah. you meet people from like high school, you see them somewhere and you're like, oh, you're still single, huh? You kind of look like a fucking loser. But it's like, I don't know. I just look at it like I'd rather be single and happy. But 100%. I agree completely. Oh, yeah. And that is, I think that's kind of ties into the society type thing where, mm -hmm. you know, I, I definitely have friends who feel like, oh, it looks better when they're in a relationship or if they're married or like it looks like their life is together but if you're fucking miserable then you're fucking miserable yeah it doesn't matter if you're married or in a relationship like it doesn't change the fact that you're miserable mm -hmm. so yeah i agree much would rather be single than miserable oh yeah absolutely um uh, the fourth sign is you feel resentful instead of excited about your future <laughs> You know, you should feel excited to spend the future together with your significant other. If the idea of another year together feels more like a chore than an adventure, it could be time to cut ties and focus on self-love instead. Amen. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Like, oh, if I have to get through one more fucking holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I think you left out like kind of an important one, though. Don't you think a lot of people settle for people like looks wise in a way where they're like, person's not my type at all but mm -hmm. like yeah they have a good personality so like i'll just deal with it i feel like that's where you eventually like that wears off and you're just like okay you know like they have a good personality but i'm not attracted to them at all oh yeah that's mm. a that's huge what, one. that's the first thing i think of is settling yeah because i've had friends in the past be like yeah she's not really my type but it's like she's like really cool and stuff and it's like Okay. Wow. That's the, the most backhanded yeah. compliment. But the thing I think about that is, okay, you're going to go out and be like, God, this girl's so hot. And it's like, you want to think that about who you're with, not be like, I wish my chick had like this. I wish my girl was like this. You want that to be how your girl is. Not I mean, yeah, you obviously want to be attracted to who you're with for sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, definitely there has to be attraction. Do you think that that's more common with with women than with men having attraction like I think, settling for looks i think guys are thinking that more about girls really i i mean actually i don't really know it could be yeah. like 50 50 honestly yeah. i mean it could be split have mm -hmm. you guys been with guys where you're like not really my type but like he's super funny or something <laughs> uh no no <laughs> I don't think so, but I, mm -hmm. but I, but I have plenty of friends who I feel like they legit know, like, yeah, he, he's, I'm settling, like, they're actually aware just because of all those things. They don't want to be alone. They're mm -hmm. afraid of starting over. They're like, yeah, but he doesn't really take care of himself, and yeah, it's like your hygiene's always... like so so. Yeah. He doesn't yeah. go to the gym. He has no motivation. But he's like a good dad, so it's like, but, and you're just. But he's there. Yeah. But he's, he's there. there. He's yeah. there. Not even he's good at something. He's just, he's there. That's what I think settling if is. If your fucking like... sink is broken, he's there. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody to watch Netflix. He's just there. He's there. Yeah. Yeah. Like at this point. Yeah. yeah that's when you get your little robot friend or robot boyfriend or something <laughs> <laughs> fix the fucking sink. Oh my God. Yeah. I mean, I think that when you are settling and you're aware you're settling, that's like, yeah, that it's like, okay, you know, then it's time to actually do you something. Do. I feel like you do know, you know, and you, you kind of ask yourself, is it worth saving? You know, maybe talking it out. Not with all those reasons we just talked about. <laughs> Do you think more people you guys know have settled in the relationships or actually genuinely really like are just like, this is my perfect match, which is hard to find. I mean, obviously, mm -hmm. like your perfect match. But I mean, I don't know. I think I have a lot of friends that are just like, yeah, I don't want to look anymore. So it's like, OK. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've definitely heard that a lot. Yeah. I mean, I get it. It's uh, I don't know. I think probably a combination. Yeah. I think people get kind of comfortable too and they don't want to 
I don't they don't want to put the effort into being a better version of themselves to attract someone better. Yeah. Well, it's That's like, interesting. I mean, if yeah. you think about it, it's so much work to leave that person, then go back and start dating again, then meet people. It's like, oh, fuck, that sounds exhausting. Mm-hmm. I'd rather just not do that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Get it. Yeah. And then cheat. Yeah. That's usually when <laughs> I feel like cheating comes to play for sure. Yeah, I definitely think it's like a domino. I, f- I feel mm-hmm. like when you're settling, that's probably the most people that cheat. And yeah. You're just like, oh, God. Like, and you're just, because you're not, like, if you're attracted to someone else, another type, and you're just like, God, why can't my chick have this? Mm-hmm. I mean, like. Yeah. I see, like, what I've seen a lot of for for people cheating is like, oh, they just want to have their, like, their s- acceptable societal family. But then this is what they actually want mm-hmm. on the and side. Their fucking weird side mm-hmm. than their normal side. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't necessarily say weird, but <laughs> just like, okay, like that's fulfilling their family and their career. And now they need to go f- fulfill their sexual side. That's called having your cake and eating it fucking yeah. too. Yeah. You know? It's like instead Jesus. of putting in the work yeah, and finding a way to have better sex with your 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 partner Mm -hmm. don't you feel like it's way harder to do that now though like you can track anyone anywhere and it's like like you know it's like you know where they are like before it was just like okay you're going here you're gonna be gone all day okay how was it yeah it's like now it's like you see the videos where girls are like oh i put a tracker on his necklace (laughs) fucking watching him it's like a joke but it's like they're watching him on tv to see where they go it's like what the fucking happens that Slide is a little air tag in their shoe or something. <laughs> fucking psycho. And that it's like, psycho. okay, if you're with a partner and you're like, hey, share my location. With, let's share each other's locations. You always know where they are. And it's like, if you turn it off, be like, why'd you turn it off? <laughs> like, <laughs> you're fucked already. I mean, so it's it's kind of like, I don't know how people cheat these days, honestly. You don't know how they do it? Mm-mm. How do these people have they like whole ways. secret families? Like, yeah. when you hear about you gotta, you gotta be very naive. Like, Okay, you're just going there or like, you know, because there's so many trackers now, like on your phone, like Life 360 and shit. Like, Life 360. <laughs> it's like, why are you going so fast too? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That's, it's almost too much. It yeah. is fucking way it too is. much. It's too much. If you feel the need to constantly check your partner's location, I just feel like there's a problem already. Yeah. That's you know? a, yeah. Trust issues. Mm. And that's not one. I just don't think you can really recover from that one. Yeah. Like that level to where you're fucking putting a tracker on somebody's necklace or fucking air tag <laughs> in somebody's shoe. Like, <laughs> damn. <laughs> like, stop. <laughs> just, I just, just know stop. a lot of people have done crazy shit like that and be oh like, hey, God. where are you? It's like, oh, you're here and they show up where they are. It's like, yeah. that's it's scary yeah that's kind of scary that's too far like who's more fucked up the person lying or the person going there and being like hey what the fuck hey thought you were here because i've known people that have done that i'm like that's pretty nuts oh yeah like, both, beyond, both sides is yeah. kind of nuts mm-hmm. but but i feel like I guess, the, the person who's doing like the seeking and the finding and the whatever that person has gone real crazy oh yeah because they made themselves like yeah kind of consumed with it Mm -hmm. where are they what are they doing where are you how long have you been there when are you coming back it's like i think there's just certain people that get off on that shit because it's like exciting it's like the thrill yeah like i think people like cheat like that to like because it's exciting it's like oh fuck like we gotta be like sneaky and it's like she almost caught us it's like it's an (laughs) excitement thing yeah yeah it's probably truth to that definitely just I don't know what's so difficult about it. Just break up. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what the fuck? I, I I understand. There's there can be lots of like situations and emotions and I feel like the person cheating that's so selfish for them. They don't want to break up because you know they lose that stability. They don't want to be alone, alone. You know, mm-hmm. because the person they're cheating on them with is probably just I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to break up and be like, hey, we're like, I don't want you anymore. And then like a month later, you're like, wait, wait I made I a do. mistake. I yeah. made a mistake. Let's get back together. <laughs> and they're like, fuck off. And you're like, round oh, shit. and round. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that, I, that, that doesn't work for me. No. I'm like, okay, you get another chance. And if you fuck it up, then, it, then that's it. There's no thirds and fourths and fifths. and Yeah, no. <laughs> No, thank you. Mm-hmm. So what's the takeaway from this? What what should people do if they're settling? 
consider how bright the alternative can be. <laughs> Explore what not settling is like. Single? Uh, yeah. You know, if if you're at that point where you just just are fucking stuck and you're not happy and you've tried, maybe at this point you've talked to the person. You're like, okay, is this worth saving? Like it's not. Well, and just... if you're really settling. Because, I mean, yeah. don't you think people that think they're settling can get someone better? essentially or more like them that they like i guess it's not someone better really yeah. but Just something different or that fits their needs or yeah. makes them feel a certain way but the the truth is is that maybe you're not settling maybe you just grew apart yeah you know maybe you're you're you would be settling by staying but the whole relationship wasn't necessarily yeah settling you yeah just not it just doesn't work anymore mm -hmm. i think that for sure happens a lot oh definitely so yeah. well. well options people <laughs> all right well all right. thank you guys for listening hopefully you found this information useful <laughs> thank you all right <laughs> don't forget to rate and subscribe Five stars. thanks for listening thank you cheers <laughs>